Hi everyone, I am Justin and welcome to another Weight Watchers Clinic strength training routine. Now don't forget to track this workout in your app under WW Clinic Dumbbell Exercises. Now let's get into the workout. Hi everyone, welcome to your next dumbbell strength training workout. All we're going to need today is a pair of dumbbells. I do have a mat down here, but we're not gonna be getting down on the floor for this exercise, round of exercises. It's all gonna be standing today. So if you have a light, a moderate, and then a heavy pair of dumbbells, that's great, but we can get away with everything with just a pair of dumbbells today. So I will be walking you through everything and I will do a second and a third round as well and you will have some built-in rest during that time too. So the first exercise that we're going to do is gonna be the dumbbell push press. So that is gonna be when we're pushing overhead like this, but we're using a little bit of a leg bend to drive that weight up. So from the side, it looks like slight leg bend. Use that leg bend to push that weight up. That's gonna work our shoulders and our triceps. I'll face this way. Let's go ahead and do 10 of these together. Here we go. One. So really try to make it one fluid motion. Two. Three. So if you kind of did a squat, stood up, and then pressed, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for one fluid motion. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and 10. All right, that was the push press. The next exercise that we are gonna do is going to be the bent over row. So I've said this for exercises like this before, but position wise, we're doing this. It can be hard to get into this position. So I'm okay if you wanna keep this light while you focus on technique. So it's hips back, back nice and straight. We can probably make it a little bit easier on your back if you go with a wider stance and bend your legs a little bit more and go like that. So from this side, it looks like this. So we're gonna do the one that you feel the most comfortable with. We're gonna go 10 reps as working our back and our biceps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great work. So the next two exercises that we are going to do will be working our lower body and they're both gonna be done with a wide stance. It's called a sumo stance. So our feet are going to be wide. Our toes are gonna to be pointed out. This is the sumo squat. So we'll hold the weight right here like this. We're gonna sit back, push our knees out, and then come straight up. So from this side, really focus on bending those legs, but also sitting back. Because the next one that we do, this, this hits, hits our quads, the next one that we're gonna, we're gonna do is gonna be that same stance, but not bending our legs as much to hit more of the back side of our legs. So it's gonna be that sumo squat. We're gonna do 10 of these together. Here we go. So feet outside of shoulder width, toes pointed out. Here we go. One. Two, three, keeping my back nice and straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, awesome work. So that's more, more of our quads and then also our adductors, so the insides of our legs. This one is gonna be still that kind of wide stance like this. We're pushing our hips back though, keeping our back nice and straight. This is the sumo Romanian deadlift. So here we go, ready? One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and 10. Great work. So that's the sumo Romanian deadlift, working our hamstrings and our glutes, also our back a little bit. And we're gonna move into, it's called a cross body chop. So what this is gonna look like is we're gonna start on our right side, we're gonna chop up and over to our left, we're gonna lower down under control, and that's gonna work our core as well as our shoulders. We're gonna do five of these on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's switch on over, do the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome work. That was the cross body chop. We have one more exercise in this sequence. And remember, if you want to do a second or a third round, I will be doing that. But if, just, if one round is your starting point, I always say this, good metric for progression. Next time around, maybe you try to do two. So we're gonna go hammer curls, pretty straightforward, working our biceps just up just like this, okay? So palms are facing each other. And here we go, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome work. So a lot of times I get asked before we go, before we go into our second round, how much weight should I be using on all of these? So now you've gone through one full round. When you get through each exercise, so we're doing basically 10 reps, some of it's five on each side. For the end of your 10 reps, you think I couldn't have done any more, couldn't have done another rep, or maybe I only could have done one or two more. Weight might be a little bit too heavy. If you got done with 10, and you're like, I could have done 10, 12 more reps, it's probably a little bit too light. So. What we want to focus on is using a weight where maybe we could have done five more reps or something along those lines. And we're probably between four to six, what we say reps in reserve. So that's going to be how you're going to gauge the weight that you'll, you'll end up using. We're going to go back to that dumbbell push press. It's going to be that second round through. We're going to bend our legs, push that weight right over our head. Here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, great stuff. You're gonna get a 30 second rest right now. When you come back, we're doing those bent over rows. Welcome back. Let's get into those bent over dumbbell rows, doing 10 reps together. Working our back and our biceps, keeping our back nice and straight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, really good work. Can you get 30 seconds and then we're gonna be back here to do that sumo uh, squat. All right, welcome back. We have our sumo squat. I'm gonna hold one weight up here like this. Feet are wide, toes are pointed out, and we're gonna sit back. Here we go. 
One. Two. Three, sitting back, two. Helps if you have any knee issues. Um, and controlling your range of motion, so maybe that's as far as we end up going. Maybe over time, it can start to go a little bit lower. Make, again, make sure that when you're going down, we're pushing our knees out so that they're not wiggling in when you go down. Knees are always tracking right over our toes for this. And I think that's safe to say that was 10. Take your 30 seconds. We'll be back here for that sumo stance Romanian deadlift. Welcome back. Let's get into that sumo stance Romanian deadlift. That's wide. Feet, toes are pointed out just slightly. When you do this, make sure the weight doesn't get away from you like that. Keep it nice and tight to your body. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Squeeze your butt at the top. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and here we go, 10. Really great work. You're gonna take your 30 second break. We have two more exercises left, and that's gonna start with that cross body chop. Welcome back. Let's get into our cross body chop. I'll start left side going to right side. Five reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Super work. We're going to switch over, do the other side. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, and five. Awesome. So let's grab our weight. You're gonna take your 30 seconds and we have hammer curls. This will be the last call. 20 minutes you done me. Welcome back. Let's get into our hammer curls. We're doing 10 reps together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great work. Let's put our weights down we are going to get into our third round in just a second. So again, if you want to stick with us for that third round, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. But if you're stopping at two, again, perfectly fine. Um, let's get into that dumbbell push press. So I'm going to grab the weights. And you're right here, back in this position, bending our legs, pushing over our head. Last time around, here we go. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome work. Should be feeling that in your shoulders. Take your 30 seconds uh, break, get some water. We'll come back here and we'll do those bent over rows. Let's get into our bent over rows. Again, when you do this, keep your back as straight as you can. Push your hips back, bend your legs slightly. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great work. So what we can do right now is take our 30 seconds and we're gonna be back here for that sumo squat. Welcome back. Let's get our feet nice and wide, point our toes out slightly, and let's go do 10 reps together. Here we go. One, I'm sitting back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's take 30 seconds. And then it's gonna be that same exact stance, but less leg bend doing the sumo Romanian deadlift. Welcome back. Let's have our weight right here, keeping it nice and tight to our body. Feet are uh, wide, toes are pointed out just slightly. Here we go, 10 reps. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, super work. We're almost at our close. We have two more exercises to do. Uh, take your 30 seconds. We'll be back here for the cross body chop. Welcome back. Let's grab our weight. We're going to do our cross body chop. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's switch over, do the five on the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Awesome work. Last exercise coming up. It's gonna be the hammer curls. I will see you in 30 seconds.
Welcome back. Let's grab a weight in each hand. We're gonna do 10 curls together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job, everybody. So that was our dumbbell workout, and we hope to see you keep in coming back here for the next round of exercises.